Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English grammar tutorial. Today, we're diving into the world of the simple present tense. In English grammar, the simple present tense is used to describe actions or situations that are regular, habitual, or true in general. Imagine you're chatting with a friend about your routines. Simple present tense helps you express these daily habits. Check this out. There are some principles and guidelines to follow when using the present simple tense. For third person singular, he, she, it, use the base form of the verb and add an S to the end. Example, he plays the football every evening. For all other pronouns, I, you, we, they, and plural nouns, use the base form of the verb without adding an S. Example, we play tennis on weekends. Negative sentences. For all pronouns, I, you, we, they, add do not or don't before the base form of the verb. For the third person singular, he, she, it, we use does not or doesn't. Examples, I do not like coffee. She does not watch TV in the morning. Interrogative sentences, use do at the beginning of the sentence for all pronouns, I, you, we, they. For the third person singular, he, she, it, Use does at the beginning of the sentence. Examples. Does he like chocolate? Do they play football? Now here are some examples of how we can use simple present tense. We go for a jog every evening. This is a simple affirmative sentence. Now let's convert the same sentence to a negative sentence first and then to an interrogative sentence. And for that, my friend Hannah is going to help me. Thanks, John. Negative sentence would be, We do not go for a jog every evening. An interrogative one is, Do we go for a jog every evening? So our next one is, The company produces high-quality products. Because in this sentence, there is a singular noun or singular subject, which is the company. So we add S to the base form of the verb. Negative sentence would be, the company does not produce low-quality products. An interrogative one is, does the company produce high-quality products? Next sentence is, he takes the bus to work. Here, negative sentence would be something like, he does not take the bus to work. Or, does he take the bus to work? Our next sentence is, cats sleep a lot during the day. Here, our negative sentence would be, cats do not always sleep during the day. Or interrogative one is, do cats sleep a lot during the day? Let's make a new one. My parents live in a small town. Here, the negative sentence would be, My parents do not live in a big city. Or interrogative one is, Do my parents live in a small town? Nice job, Hannah. Here is a new one. I like to swim in the ocean. So our negative one is, I do not dislike swimming in the ocean. An interrogative one is, Do I like to swim in the ocean? Our new sentence is, She speaks French fluently. Here, negative sentence would be, she does not speak French fluently, or does she speak French fluently? Let's try a new one. We go camping every summer. Here, negative sentence would be, we do not go camping every summer. Or interrogative one would be, do we go camping every summer? Here is another one. Birds sing in the morning. Now here we can make negative sentence as, birds do not sing in the night. Or... Do birds sing in the morning? Our next sentence is, students attend classes regularly. Now here, negative sentence would be, students do not skip classes regularly. Or interrogative one is, do students attend classes regularly? Let's try this one. The company manufactures electronic gadgets. Our negative sentence would be something like, the company does not manufacture clothing. Or interrogative one would be, does the company manufacture electronic gadgets? Now let's try this one. Dogs bark when someone approaches. Now here we can make negative sentence as, Dogs do not stay silent when someone approaches. Or interrogative sentence as, Do dogs bark when someone approaches? Our next sentence would be, She enjoys reading mystery novels. Our negative sentence would be, She does not enjoy reading mystery novels. Or interrogative one would be, Does she enjoy reading mystery novels? Let's make a new one. She practices yoga for relaxation. Here, negative sentence would be, She does not practice yoga for relaxation. Or, 
Does she practice yoga for relaxation? New sentences. They participate in community events. Your negative sentence would be, they do not always participate in community events. Or interrogative one would be, do they participate in community events? Our next sentence is, he works as a software engineer. Negative sentence would be, he does not work as a software engineer. Or interrogative one would be, does he work as a software engineer? And there you have it, the simple present tense. Whether you're expressing routines, stating facts, or asking questions, mastering this tense is a key step in becoming a confident English speaker. Practice these structures in your own conversations, and you'll be using the simple present tense like a pro in no time. Thanks for joining us today, and stay tuned for more Grammar Insights. Bye for now, but keep watching for more, and do subscribe my channel.